when should you go full time? It's a question that went through my head a bunch of times. I was like, when should I go full time? Um, that is what we're going to discuss tonight. Um, Josh Rose here, make an appearance. Um, man, I wish somebody would have discussed this with me when I first got started. By the way, my name is Jeff Gamble, if you don't know who I am. Uh, I have a background in traditional business, also a network marketer, retired, and currently a John C. Maxwell speaker, sales trainer, and coach. So I help people um, with a number of different issues that they're trying to figure out, uh, mainly within building a business. So when should you go full-time? I'm going to give you a list of some things that I was taught um, once I had screwed up going full-time. Um, number one, you want to have mastered the basics. If you haven't mastered the basics of building your business, you probably have no reason to go full-time um, because you don't even know what you're doing and it would be crazy to go full-time. Um, also, the statistic is about 84% of all network marketers, even people who make you know, $500,000 a year, sometimes still have a job. Um, the reason they do is it allows them to get rich um, and be wealthy. And rich and wealthy are different. Um, there's some people who make a lot of money and spend more. Um, that's called stupid. Um, but, you know, that happens to a lot of people. Um, there's also some people who, you know, look rich um, because, you know, they make decent money and it's on credit. So they make $100,000 and they spend two hundred, and they have a super nice car and a super nice payment and, you know, very high interest rates on everything. And th they're financial idiots, but they do make good money. Um, and a lot of people listen to them and get themselves in trouble. So don't do that. Uh, so number one, you must master. Oh, sorry, I was getting off topic. Number one, master the basics. Know how to contact. Know how to invite. Know how to present. Know how to close. Know how to use third party. Know how to get people to events. Know how to get people started. And know how to duplicate that process. Um, you know, some people are like, yes, I recruited two people. I'm going full time. No, that'd be bad. Um, second, you have to know how to control your time because when you go full time, you will have a lot of time on your hands. And one of the major things that I saw people do is I watched people try to go full time and they had no idea how to block out their time and be productive. They knew how to screw around. Good. They watched movies and Lord of the Rings came on and they watched that and they're like, well, you know, it was on. So I watched the first one and you just can't watch the first one without watching the second one. And it was the extended edition. So I had to then get out the third one and watch the extended edition of that one. And now the Hobbit series is out. So I had to watch all of those. And all of a sudden it's tomorrow. And now you're watching, you know, from Lord of the Rings to The Hobbit to Pirates of the Caribbean, and you're watching the whole series. And you end up watching a lot of movies and YouTube videos, not like this one, but, you know, YouTube series. You know, I was guilty, you know, the, the seven deadliest kinds of poisonous snakes. And, you know, and then I'd watch Rome. And because I watched Rome and the Roman Empire, I'd watch, you know, the Templars. And then after the Templars, I'd know all about Pompeii and volcanoes and dinosaurs and shit that was not making me money. Um... But it was really entertaining. Um, but there was no money at the end of the day. And then, you know, the month would creep up and then the bills would creep up. And then all of a sudden you are looking at everybody like a dollar sign. And you do not close well when you're looking at everybody like a dollar sign. When you go to the meeting and you're like hunting out the new person so that way you can get them in to make your commission. Bad technique. Um, third, make sure your team is big enough that you're needed full time. You know, that's another thing. Make sure your team is big enough that you can go to meetings all the time or that you have a lead list big enough that would keep you busy all the time. Because here's what I find. Most networkers that say they're full-time are not full-time. Most networkers that say they're full-time are really dicking around about 8 out of 10 you know, hours a day. And they're working for two hours and they're like, yes, I'm full-time. I went to the meeting tonight. No, you're not. Um, you're technically not really even spare time uh, because there are people who are spare time working harder than you are. Um, and what I mean by that is that they're presenting three to five times a day and going to the meeting. Your ass just went to the meeting, which means you're not really even spare time. You're not working your business. You're just there. Um, so you, you want to you wanna have more of a plan than that. You want to sit down with somebody who's crushing it and you want to have you know some big goals so that's third is you want to either have a big enough team or a big enough list fourth 
get out of debt, get out of debt, get out of debt, get out of debt, get out of debt before you go full time. Why? Because you don't want to look at every single prospect as a commission and you don't want to look at your team's prospect as a commission. Guilty. Everybody, raise your hand who's guilty. Guilty. Josh. Josh raised his hand. Guilty. See, everybody who's done it has done it. So this is like reality. Uh, reality check. Um, so fourth, get out of debt. Don't be needy. Fifth, this is just a good idea. Put six months money away. I, I mean, I, I had money away at one point. It was so easy to recruit people because I was like, well, I don't really care if you get in or not. Because I have more money in my pocket than you just told me you wanted to make all year. Um, and that's not like boasting. At one point, I had that kind of money just lying around. Um, and that was really stupid because I knew nothing about finance. And I was an idiot. And I had made decent money and was financially dumb. Um, and that's not where you want to be. You want to be a little bit smarter and have that money working for you somewhere. So what I'm saying is get educated and learn about what to do and how to do. Um, fifth, have about six months income put away. Before you go. So if you're out of debt and you have six month income put away, you don't care if they get in. And you really don't. You're like, I don't care if you get in or not because my money's working for me and it's cool. Um, six, live off of your network marketing money for six months because here's what typically happens. On your run to go full time, your money's going like this. And then you go full time and your money goes like this. Ooh. Why? Because typically when you go full-time, you slow down. Why? Because your goal was to go full-time, not to get somewhere else out here. Your goal was to go full-time. And as soon as you accomplish your goal, what most people do is they accomplish their goal and then they stop. So there's two things. You can have you can be goal-oriented or you can be growth-oriented. Learn that from John C. Maxwell. What that means is, is goal-oriented means this is the goal. If you do not have another goal, what happens is your production goes south. But if you're growth oriented, you're here, then you're here, then you're here, then you're here. You just keep growing. The idea is be growth oriented. Teach your team to be growth oriented. Don't be goal oriented, growth oriented. We're just going to consistently make more money. Be like the tree that just keeps growing. Because a tree is either growing or it's dying, but it's never sitting still. And that's kind of how you want to be in your business. Grow. Seven, Discuss it with your significant other. If you come home and say, I quit, I'm out. And they're like, you're right, you're outside. You're sleeping on the couch. You're definitely not sleeping in here. You need to get your ass back to work. I mean, that's not a conversation you want to have after. You want to have that before and have it all planned out. And you want to, here's another thing. If you're going to leave, leave with a party. Leave with a party. And I mean a party. Here's the, have the money to have a limousine come pick you up. Have the money to have somebody else film you. Have the money to bring a cake. Bring balloons. I mean, if you leave, make them kiss your ass out the door. Have fun. Because those are some of the same people that were like, oh, you're doing that thing. You're getting in that thing. That thing. You're still in that thing. You know, and it's fun. Because then you have like 40 people, if you work like where I worked, with like their face pressed up against the glass, like looking at you walking out to the car. That was my example of glass. I only had a bottle of water, so use what you got, right? Um, leave in style. Leave with the video. A video that you can post online and a video that are like, people are like, shit, I want to go do that. That's how you want to leave. That's how you want to walk away from your job. Make everybody not only curious, but make everybody mad, like pissed off that they didn't follow you. That's how you want to leave. So with that, guys... Um, let me know what you thought of this video, um, share it, like it, send it to somebody who needs to hear it, who's thinking of going, but probably shouldn't. Um, now if you hate your job and you're making $6 an hour and your boss is an asshole and this, that, and the other thing, you can leave that job and go get another job. I'm talking about leaving permanently, like quitting and going full time. Not like you make $7 an hour and you work in a sweatshop and it's 12 hours and you hate everybody and you can go make $9 an hour somewhere else. That's not leaving to go full time. That's just leaving to get a better position, which is a good idea. So um, with that, if you want to know more, uh, look me up on Work With Jeff Gamble on Facebook. Or if you have questions and you just want to know how everything works, inbox me and we'll see what we can do to help you out. Thanks.